coronavirus is highly contagious and medical staff has to risk their own health when caring for COVID-19 patients. As the city volunteer in Kadam makes protective clothing for medical personnel, she also attempts to give aphorisms to the clothing. She hopes that these words of wisdom can give medical staff some positive energy. This is how the clothes originally look, then we sew it like this. The volunteer folds the cloth, ties a bow tie, and then adds the jinsu efforts into it. Originally, we simply had the words, we care for you. Then I thought when the medical staff is really tired, reading jinsu efforts some can enrich their mind and give them positive energy. Disinfect and wash your hands. Then we will start sewing the protective clothing. As medical protective clothing is running low, volunteers are rushing to make that. Our sewing machines are a lot like the ones used in factories, and we work more slowly than them. We might only make three to four of them in a day. Upon learning that Lo Su Ching is making protective clothing, Li Pong Chu has come to help out. Sister Jingxian has to do the work, so I told her since I cook, I will bring some food over here. Then she can eat a simple meal and start working. Li Bao Zhu does not adopt a vegetarian diet. When she saw me cook vegetarian food, she asked me to teach her. Then she started cooking vegetarian food for us until now. As this city volunteer makes protective clothing for medical personnel, she also uses Jingxi efforts to express her appreciation and best wishes for them. In better words, Malaysia, some student volunteers are making protective clothing for the medical personnel. But sewing the protective clothing can be a challenge for some volunteers. They're still happy that they can do their share to help protect the medical staff. Let's take a look. The materials for protective clothing are transported to Butterworth community after being cut in textile factory. This place is a bread and breakfast run by city volunteers. During epidemic time, it has become a place to make fabric masks and protective clothing. There are about 200 and 300 pieces of materials. In order for our driver to deliver them to the volunteers' cars, we need to separate them here. We usually divide them into batches of 20 to 30 pieces of materials. Did you see the road barriers? Now that the epidemic is more serious, we do not want the volunteers to come outside. We try to deliver the materials to their houses for them. The volunteers want to help provide the medical staff with protective clothing. City volunteer Hu Abi has now used the old sewing machine at home for eight years. I thought it would be easy to make the shoe covers. Then I realized that it is not easy. If I do not do it well, you will miss the arts. So it is similar to cultivation. When you are doing it, you will realize it is not easy. But Ling Mei Ching sewing is an easy task. Besides doing her share, she's also willing to help teach other volunteers in the community. Our responsibilities are to care for our volunteers or members of the community. If our volunteers or residents encounter some problems while sewing, we can help them. For instance, if they need a lesson on the use of thread or needle, we can provide some assistance and care. This sewing machine has accompanied me for 40 years. I feel very fortunate that I'm able to make some protective clothing for medical personnel. <laughs> During the epidemic time, the sewing volunteers are doing what they can to support the medical staff as they safeguard the patients' lives.